Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are all well. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do where I live in Dubai. Now I have been getting quite a lot of DMs on my Instagram and on YouTube basically asking about Dubai, where I live, what I do. So I'm not going to go too much into detail um, on the other subjects today. I'll do those in a separate video like a Q&A. However, today I am going to show you where I live in Dubai. I'm going to show you my apartment. I'll give you a little tour of where I live in my apartment. I'll show you around the building and the facilities. Now I live in a two bedroom apartment in downtown Dubai. So at the very front of the building is the Burj Khalifa, which I will show you later. I live on the backside. So unfortunately I don't have the Burj Khalifa view, but this building is absolutely fantastic. It is connected to Dubai Mall. I can walk there through the inside. It's one of the only residential buildings that is connected to Dubai Mall. The other ones that are connected is the Burj Khalifa the, and the address hotels. So this is basically purely a residential building that is connected to the mall and the Metro links. Um, as well, it's got a fantastic gym, it's got a fantastic pool, it's got a meeting room downstairs. The only downside I would say is since COVID times, now there is a lot of Airbnb. So it's basically now like a hotel downstairs. Constantly people come in and going, come in, going, which also means that people don't really look after it like their home. Now this apartment is about 1,500 square feet. So compared for Dubai sizing, this is phenomenal, especially for downtown Dubai. It's a great size apartment. And as I'm showing you around, you'll see that there's plenty of spaces, lots of closet spaces, um, to hide all of my belongings. I'll show you now around my apartment. Now I'm going to start the apartment tour by showing you my open plan kitchen. Now this kitchen leads straight onto my living room. Now when we were initially looking for apartments in Dubai, it's very, very hard to find basically any apartment or any kitchen that's not dark wood. I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing, which means light and bright. So in the end, I finally got what I wanted. We got the white cupboards, which were already in the building. Um, as you can see, all on top, so loads and lots of stowage areas. And then the brown cabinets underneath have all been wrapped. That's a way to get around the horrible uh, kitchens that generally appear in Dubai. Now, when you are choosing an apartment in Dubai, you can either get furnished, unfurnished, or partially furnished. All of our kitchen appliances were included, which is fantastic because when you come to try and get rid of stuff at a later date in Dubai, um, it's very it's easy to get rid, but you have to give it away for basically nothing. So this Bosch fridge is a great, great size. Not that it's stocked with very much, to be honest, in all honesty. Would it be my fridge without the champagne? We've got a freezer here as well, great size. And then we've got the cooker and the microwave. The gas in Dubai, to be honest, is very, very tricky to set up. It did take us about three, four months initially to set it up. Um, we've got the gas hob over here as well. Also, something which I use every morning is my new Bullet. And then as well, this one up here is possibly my favorite cupboard, stocked with my berries and my protein powders. Now, moving out of the kitchen area into the living room. Now this living room is such a great size and look at the windows. Look how many windows that there is that let in such great natural light. In here, it's bright pretty much from morning to sunset. And as the sun goes round now, it comes into our living room. So it's absolutely perfect. With this living room, as you can see, there's not really much in it, but that's exactly the look that I wanted to go for. Just quite minimalist, not much around, no clutter. Um, I am away a lot, so I do like where I live to be super, super clean and tidy when I return. Now with Dubai, as I say, I do travel a lot and I never know how long I'm gonna be here. All of the furniture is um, pre-owned or sourced or very, very, cheap furniture that we we kitted out in here when we first moved in the apartment was completely unfurnished so this sofa i picked up on facebook marketplace the sofa itself was brand new um off a lady who was leaving dubai it was about two thousand dirhams it is an ikea sofa it's a soderham sofa if anybody's interested in what kind of sofa it is it's so so comfortable 
Now this little table here, please excuse all Ralphie's little toys underneath it. This is where I eat all of my food. The apartment, I didn't feel it was big enough for a full size table. Now this bar is one of my favorite features in the living room. It's uh, what I like to call my little champagne bar because that's all that's on it. Um, purely because my apartment is white and pink. Um, it just fits the decor so, so well. So this is uh, the rosé champagne. This is a little Verve Clico Smeg fridge, which I picked up a few years ago when I was in London. And inside there's a little um, rosé Verve Clico as well. Then of course, you've got the coffee table books, Louis Vuitton and Valentino. Again, pink, they have faded in the sun actually. And then this is a Mason de Fleur's uh, Forever Rose. I've had this as well now about a couple of years and it's still going strong. Then here, I've got a little baby Jo Malone candle. This is one of the candles that has never ever been lit. Um, but Ralphie was playing on here the other night and knocked it off and smashed it. So devastated about that. And then underneath here, we've got more Moe. We have champagne glasses. These ones are my preferred favorite because they're the thicker glass ones compared to these ones. You only have to look at them and they shatter. And then at the bottom, we've got the Delamotte uh, champagne, which has been painted by uh, an artist in Dubai called Pop and Toast. Uh, these champagne bottles are absolutely great uh, for gifting ideas. And then over here, this is Ralphie's castle. I call it Ralphie's castle. It's basically a huge, huge cat tree. She uses it all the time. It's about eight foot when she's on top. I'm six foot. So when she's on top, I literally cannot get her off it, but it literally wobbles like crazy. It's insane. I don't know how it's still standing in all fairness. Um, and then over by the windows, I've just got my two little plants. Um, one snake plant and one monstera plant, which are coming on great. They were actually little cuttings when I got these, but they're absolutely doing fantastic. And then out there is my balcony, which I will show you very shortly. The sun is just setting, so I'll wait for sunset to show you outside. And then over here, we've just got the TV cabinet. Again, very, very simple, pre-owned from a uh, marketplace. It's from Ikea though, as far as I'm aware. This is quite a big bear brick. I've always, always wanted one. So just off of the main living room, there is also a little ensuite with a little wash basin and toilet. Very, very cute and compact. This apartment is two bedrooms with three bathrooms, and then it faces onto then the main living area. Now we're just outside on my balcony. Now this apartment has got two balconies. This one is off the main living room. In the distance over here, this is Business Bay. And then straight over here, you can see out to see where the Atlantis and Royal Atlantis is. And then as I just come around here, straight ahead, there's the World Islands. And then here is a dress Sky View Hotel. And then just around the corner down here is the very famous Shakeside Road. This traffic that you can see in Dubai is just the general standard everyday traffic. You can see the metro running along here as well. And then all the way down here is my building swimming pool. We are on the 41st floor, so we're super, super high up here, but the view is absolutely incredible. This sunset tonight is actually stunning as well. Now, just off the living room, we have this little passageway. So to the left here, the first room, this is my ensuite bathroom and my bedroom. My bed is absolutely huge. I absolutely love it. I just need more pillows for it, um, which I am working on. It's quite a new bed, which I have, um, but I really, really want to get all new bedding. I always pick up fresh flowers. I have just come back from the UK. I always bring fresh flowers back with me. Um, these drawers I got from Ikea and the mirror on top as well is also from Ikea. Again, just giving me a little bit more storage space. Um, saying that, there is huge, huge closets in the apartment. I've got 
two double closets and then a single closet here but they are all completely full 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 i won't show you in because to be honest there's no order to it whatsoever um the bedroom is a great size got a beautiful beautiful view as well from outside this is my bird of paradise plant this is quite new um but i must be looking after it pretty well because brand new leaves are constantly opening on it this is a brand new leaf opening up here and then this is a brand new leaf that's just opened as well so i'm doing ever so good with my plants the pot i got from marina home now marina home and west elm and pottery barn are great great um furniture shops in dubai but they are pretty pretty spendy just off the main bedroom this is the ensuite so we have got a double sink over here with loads of storage underneath it this is a great mirror because behind here is all storage this is the bathtub with shower over it which has currently got no shower head on it and then just behind the door here is the lavatory just above is where I keep all of my perfumes, so many different perfumes which I've got, some I've not even opened yet. And this room that we're in now is just a spare bedroom which is purely just used as literally a spare bedroom where we hang the washing and everything like that. Uh, the closets in here are great uh, for stowage, loads of things in here. Then as well, it has a little ensuite, little showers, um, sink underneath and then a big double shower. My favourite thing about the spare bedroom is the balcony. It has a tiny little balcony which has got a little table and chairs on and then look at this view and then over here as well in the far distance that's the world islands. Today it's such a clear day in all fairness. Not humid at all, absolutely perfect weather and this is a perfect view. I've now brought you into the gym of my building and as you can see it's quite exceptional for a building gym in Dubai. It's got everything that you could possibly need and it looks like I'm showing you at a very very good time because the gym is empty which to be honest is very very rare. Generally it's pretty busy in here and there's generally lots of personal trainers as well. Now this gym has got everything you could possibly need. A mixture of cardio equipment, lots and lots of weights. Um, you have got a view of the Burj Khalifa near the treadmills and then a view of the swimming pool over here near the weights. Just as I bring you round just now, there's weights at the very, very bottom, lots of free weights. And then there's um, a water machine and the punch bag. Off to the left is a tiny little room where you can do things such as yoga or dance classes or Pilates. Um, in here, generally people do come in here with their personal trainers as well. Again, this room you can also pre-book it. And then now I'll just show you there is over here where all the treadmills are. There's like five or six treadmills in total. And as I say, you have a breathtaking view of the Burj Khalifa from both the rowing machine where I'm generally found or on the treadmills. This is my building and you can see the Birch Khalifa opposite. This is the world's tallest building. So from the pool you get an absolutely incredible view. The pool here is absolutely incredible as well, all heated. So in this bit here, there's a tiny little children's pool and a few lounges on the side for the uh, people to watch their children in the little pool. And just after swimming pool, we've got this little children's play area, which is absolutely adorable. Little slides, little climbing ropes. And then over here, there's the swings. It's actually a really, really good little kids area to say it's a residential building. Just leaving the children's area. Got a lovely little grass bit for little picnics. And then over here, got little booths for the little tables under. If you want to do any barbecues or anything like that, you can. And then just through here is the tennis courts. Now these tennis courts, you do have to pre-book them. It's all done through an online app. I can truly say in the five years that I've lived here, I've never actually been to this tennis court. 
Now we've gone full circle and we're back to the front of the building. Now directly opposite my main entrance where I'm stood now is the Burj Khalifa. Just to the side of this is Dubai Mall and the Dubai Mall Fountains. So I hope you enjoyed my video showing you where I live in downtown Dubai and I'll have another one for you very, very soon.